Hello and good morning friends of the French Foreign Legion. Hello English speaking community. I am greeting you. Quand on a beau faire son pognon Ou claquer pour un coup de cochon So, at the end of the first week, we headed by train south direction Aubagne. And the train uh, stopped here and there and to take other applicants from other cities, you know. And when we arrived in Aubagne at Quartier Vienno, this is the mother house of the French Foreign Legion, we have been about uh, 20 or 25 applicants. I remember very well the first thing I saw when I crossed the gate to Quartier Vienno, the first thing I saw was the Monument au Mort de la Légion Étrangère. Yeah? This is the uh, Monument of Honor of the French Foreign Legion. And it's about 80 tons of Legion's history. I was just stunned. Great stuff. Yeah? So, they took us immediately to a kind of isolated building, yeah? surrounded by a wire fence. And they gave us BDU, battle dress uniforms, old battle dress uniforms, maybe from Algeria war. And we had, a, had uh, to the left and to the right uh, yellow collars, kind of yellow epaulets. And they gave us also a green berry, but without insignia, yeah? without distinction. And the first week we passed all the tests, examinations. Started from uh, with a medical test and, and they Made, made a medical check up from head to toe very thoroughly. Next day we had a psychological uh, or psychomotor examination or psychomotor test. Next day we had all the sport tests starting with the test cooper. Test cooper that means they gave you time. It's a run against the time. They gave you 12 minutes and within these 12 minutes you have to run. You have to run as fast and as quick as you can or and as far as you can you know so normally required is 2700 meters but everybody of us did about 3000 3100 meters so it was good for everybody and then they asked asked us to do push-ups pull-ups sit-ups knee bends but not uh 220 of this 240 of this to 30 of this no they ask us to do a maximum of each kind of, of them, you know? Do a maximum of pull-ups, a maximum of sit-ups, a maximum of uh, knee bends. And this was a hard day, believe me. Yeah? And, and with this, the first week was over, was done, you know? And um, the second week, the second week, we received green colors. Not everybody of us. And the gentleman who didn't receive green collars, who stayed yellow, finished, game over, right? So, and then in the middle of the second week, we had a thing we all feared. We had to go to the Gestapo. And Gestapo stands for Geheime Staatspolizei. It's kind of a secret state police, reference to SS and uh, Nazi regime, you know. And this is kind of heavy uh, cross interrogatory and I was sitting there in fr sitting there in the office in front of an officer and he asked me everything everything and uh, believe me you shouldn't you shouldn't lie to this guy yeah? and uh, he asked me about uh, about things I have done in my past you know bad things maybe and <laughs> and I was afraid because and I told him the story uh, in Germany I lived close to a highway and once, it was night time, we heard a loud crash. We opened the window, went outside of the house, and there was a big truck, a big brewery truck, beer truck, who had an accident just in front of our house, maybe 100 meters away. And over and over the field, you, you could see beer barrels and beer cans and beer bottles, whatever. And my mother sent me out with a wheelbarrow and told me, hey, you get one of these barrel at barrel, beer barrel at home. 
<laughs> okay, I knew that I have done something was not correct, but I was young. I was about 13, 12 or 13 years old. And the next day the police came to each house close to the highway and picked up all the beer barrels, you know, from, from, uh, from everybody. So, uh, and I told him, I told this to the legions officer and he was just smiling and, say, and said, hey, it's okay, welcome. And this was great for me, it was great for me. So, uh, um, there was one story I was afraid also because I was sitting in the foyer in the refectoire and we had a meal and in front of me there was sitting an American, American uh, applicant. He was a small guy, but uh, we both, it was, wasn't, uh, we, had, we never had to say the same opinion. He was kind of stupid, he was kind of crazy, I don't know. Uh, maybe he was a little bit weird when he said, but once we had a dispute and he, he attacked me with a knife, with an opinel, you know. Maybe he was a good knife fighter, but I was a good boxer at this time. So I knocked him out and uh, in the evening time, the sergeant de Semen, you know, he asked me, hey, Thomas, come on, tell me what happened uh, in lunchtime. And I told him the story, yeah? but, and I, and I was afraid that they will pull me out. They will send me home at home immediately, but it wasn't like this. In the contrary, for me, I think it was a good thing because in the eyes of the Sergeant Semen, I saw kind of acceptance. Uh, I felt that what I have done to knock out the American guy was kind of test for me. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so what happened in the third week? In the third week, we already uh, wear the red uh, epaulets, the red, uh, yeah, the red collars. Normally, red collar, that means that, that you can stay in the French Foreign Legion. But the last, the last decision is up to a council. And the council is held by uh, mm. French Legion's staff officers. So the aim of the officers council held by the Legion's officers uh, is to decide of our future. Okay, he can stay. No, he must leave. And for my case, they took a favorable decision, so I could stay in the French Foreign Legion. For me, it was done. I was in, and I was so grateful, and I was a lucky guy. And my next adventure is boot camp of the French Foreign Legion in Castel Nodari. Don't miss it. Dans le combat, que sa bravoure et le gendarme combat route et non crampa. Let's go to the French Foreign Legion's bootcamp. <laughs>